NZXT Cam. Monitor your games while playing. To learn more about it, check out the description. Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the week of April 19th. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, we see there will be Azir, Cho'Gath, Graves, Janna, Morgana, Sejuani, Talon, Vayne, Vladimir, and Sinshao. And for my first champion recommendation for this week, gonna give that one over to Graves. Graves, still very strong champion at the moment. He, um, well actually if you remember back, at the very beginning of the season, or more in the preseason, he actually was a little tiny bit weak. And then I think he got one really small tweak and everybody realized he was insanely strong. He was just quite different because obviously he changed quite a bit. Um, but he's been nerfed down a little bit, but, but despite the nerfs, he's still a very strong champion. Um, I think one of the big reasons for this, um, besides having good base numbers, a very interesting kit on how his bullets scale and how you can get more with crit, and how you can increase his reload speeds, and just how it's all very interesting, and realistically he can take no damage as a jungler. Um, one of the things I think continues to make him strong though is the versatility he has within his build path. Meaning you could go straight DPS, damage graves, it does work, you can do that. You can play it bot lane, you could still play that in the jungle. But you can also build like that somewhat semi-tank, half tank, half AD graves, that also is very impactful. Um, just to let you know about something I've been doing that's been working incredibly well is I've been playing graves on my smurf account, trying to rank up my smurf account, and uh, I don't think I've lost a single game with graves so far um, while smurfing. It's just insanely strong, he's just such a good champion right now. Um, and you can play him literally in almost any position except for as a support. So, um, versatile, play him in the jungle, play him top, play him anywhere. He's really strong right now. Definitely try him out. As for my second champion recommendation this week, I'm going to give that one over to Talon. Um, Talon's a champion I've recommended a handful of times um, in free weeks. I think he's really simplistic to use and yet highly effective. Now, I know he did get nerfed a little bit, um, mostly on his cooldown on his ultimate which makes him less of a threat repetitively in lane over and over if you uh, are against him or if you're playing as him because typically he needs his ultimate to secure a kill or to fully go all in on a kill to get one. Um, not all the time, but it is a very good damage dealing um, ability, let alone the stealth is very helpful for repositioning yourself in fights or while you're ganking or soloing anyone. So um, Talon's really strong, does plenty of damage recently made a build for him too so another reason why you should probably check him out if you're uh, looking for somebody to play got some updated you know content for him which is always a good thing to take a look at um but he's just a strong champion um and he's been fitting into the meta fairly well honestly um if they have a ton of tanks be careful about that because he won't shred directly through all of them but if they do just make sure you start picking up lord dominic's pretty early and then you'll probably do quite fine but i like him in mid he's still quite good he will annihilate certain mages really fast so if you're looking for a new assassin in the mid lane talon try him out my third recommendation for this week is going to go over to sejuani now sej has been up and down in the tier list um she got buffed a little bit and then cinder hulk got popular and she was up for a while then cinder hulk fell out of favor it got nerfed and she also got nerfed along with it it was a double whammy of uh-oh um but she's gotten a buff well, not super recent, but she did get one, and it has helped her out a little bit. She's definitely way more viable. Um, one thing I've always liked as Sejuani, as one of the tanky junglers, you can build her as a straight tank, and she still does enough damage that if you get into the back line, you can still do enough damage to any individual carries that you can usually solo them out for the most part, or create so much pressure that it will split the team fight and cause the 80s to run while the rest of your team can collapse in the front line and kill them off without anybody really killing them. So she does a really, really good job at obviously, you know, set, starting team fights with her ultimate and with just getting to the back line and dealing damage to high priority targets. I think she does that um, pretty damn well, very similarly to uh, how Gragas can, um, but you know, a little bit different manner, but uh, instead of him displacing teams and separating and soloing out individuals, she can lock down teams and or just, you know, get to the back line if she wants. Um, being very tanky and doing plenty of AoE damage around her throughout the duration of fights. So she's very good. Um, maybe a little underutilized currently. Not the strongest, obviously, but still definitely good. Try her out. And for my final recommendation this week, I'm going to give that one over to Azir. Now, Azir has been seeing his rise 
back up through the meta, mostly because tanks are around and because of some positive changes to him after being nerfed at the end of last season since he was pretty much a guaranteed pick or ban. Um, Riot doesn't like to have guaranteed pick or bans. They typically will nerf or buff a champion, um, typically nerf a champion if that's the case. So you have to be careful about that. Um, he's not a guaranteed pick right now, but he's in a better spot. I'm interested to see how these upcoming mage changes will affect him, but right now, since he'll be free this week, I think he's in a pretty good spot. The other reason why I suggest you play him this week if you do not own him is because he definitely does take plenty of time to learn um, to a prolific and effective level. So, like, he's not the easiest to play. You can do some pretty simple things with him, honestly, out, out the gate, but um, learning him down really well and being as impactful as you can potentially become with him, that takes plenty of time. So during this free week, if you play him a handful of times, you can kind of start to feel him out and see if this is a champion you could play or a champion that you enjoy playing. I think he's super fun to play personally. I love how his kit works. Um, I don't dedicate tons of time to it, so I'm only okay-ish at Azir, but um, definitely a fun champion too. So he's, I don't want to say new, but if you don't have tons of champions, there's a pretty good chance you don't own Azir. So now would be a great week to try him out. Those are the champions that are free this week. As for the other ones, I'll go over them quick. Um, Cho'Gath, honestly not terrible right now. Um, play him top, play him mid. Um, not too bad. He gets pretty tanky and still does plenty of damage with his true damage alt. Um, Janna, a really good support champion. Um, I have a pretty old build for her, but I talk about the problems with Janna. Um, it's mostly people who play her, not really the champion. She's always been strong. Morgana, also pretty good right now. Black Shield as a support, very effective. And good, um, good binds can be incredibly impactful picks. As for Vayne, I actually do like Vayne a lot. I think she's really fun. Um, not the strongest AD right now, but still good against tanks. Vladimir, kind of meh at the moment, but he's getting a rework, so... Um, don't really worry about him right now. Um, Zin Zhao, still pretty good. Um, fell off a little bit since they nerfed him a little bit after he got buffed initially. Um, but, you know, if, you, if you're looking for another jungle, you could obviously play him. I think this week overall is pretty solid, to be honest. I don't really hate any of these champions. I'd call this a pretty damn good week most uh, in most cases, but it doesn't matter. I have every champion I have for many seasons. Anyways, those are the champions that are free this week. If there's a box around any of them, that means you can click on it. It will take you to a build or guide or a video of some type for that champion, be sure to check that out. But other than that, I wish you all the best of luck this week on the Fields of Justice.